hello in this video we are going to create an npx create next app we are going to use uh, the apollo client library for curing the graphql api so this video tutorial is about the next js and the purpose of the video is to use the graphql api first of all we are creating a new project with the npx create next project and once uh, your project is ready uh, you can run the project uh, with the npm run dev so you need to wait for project to finish and uh, go to the real studio code open your folder where you just uh, downloaded or created your new next project and in my case next graphql ex01 is the folder name i need to select this folder and this will be opened in my visual studio code and here you need to notice in the pages folder there is an index.js file and in this file there is all the code uh, for your default page and if you come back to the command prompt and navigate to this directory you need to uh, navigate to this uh, directory uh, next graphql ex01 and you need to add few npm library which is apollo client library which is enough in our case for curing the graphql so we need to wait for this library to finish downloading and adding in our npm package here is on the local host 3000 uh, the next js default page is running and if you are curious uh, how i just uh, started this server uh, you can uh, terminate with the control c and entering uh, yes and npm run dev is the command which will restart your next js and it will start compiling the server side and the client side library for you and in the local host 3000 port your page is running and this is the index.js page which is rendering on your uh, client browser and what we are going to do we are just going to delete the main thing into the main tag and we return it will just the welcome to next.js header and we are okay with that for now and uh, uh, one more thing we need to do is let's just remove this footer and uh, uh, next uh, select uh, some root file and create a new file we need to name this file the apollo client.js apollo-client.js you can name it whatever you like and we need to create a new client and here you need to focus that this is the url of our uh, graphql library and if you are facing uh, some error in your command prompt or in your browser uh, this could be the case that you may not uh, include it your apollo client uh, library on the root folder so make sure that you uh, basically created apollo-client.js file on the root of the, uh, your project directory and uh, let's come back and add include uh, import this apollo.client.js uh, and we'll import client from apollo um, client simply and uh, we just need to name that this is the file which we just created and uh, uh, pointed the url of our graphql api and uh, this is apollo dash client do, you you don't need to name dot js all you need to do is uh, two dots and slash to indicate that this is a top level file okay so once we are done the next thing we need to do is to import one more thing which is graphql from the apollo client uh, library which we added from the um, npm and this uh, gql is basically a query uh, structure which you need to specify in the fetch function and we are using export async function which is get a static uh, props and we are basically using a static prop uh, fetching function uh, which is asynchronous function 
and uh, here we are returning the prop of countries so basically the over api is fetching the country and we are slicing only four or 24 um basically uh, just uh, stick with the four uh, and the query we are f uh, passing is await client dot query and uh, we are passing a gql structure and we are saying that we need countries and the parameters we need is code name and emojis and these are the query that we need to fetch and uh, for uh, get the prop we need to pass that country's prop into the home and uh, this is the prop that we are returning from this function and we are getting this from uh, the home of uh, home uh, uh, function as a parameter and uh, we can iterate over this um, whole thing and here it will display like this and here you are seeing the data that we just fetched